I'm zooming as much as I can. Hey guys, Tommy Jordan here. This is the Force One FPV 220 Ready to Fly Kit. This is everything you get in this box. This kit's $450 online, and this radio right here, the AT9, is a $120 value. This is a $300 drone. The headset's a $50 headset. The battery is going to cost you between $13 and $15, and the charger's going to cost you around $40. So with everything you're getting, you're getting an incredible value for $450, and what I would like the most is I wanted to get into racing and get a racing drone, an FPV, and I did not know where to begin. So I like the fact that this kit had everything I needed to get started, including all the tools which I've already misplaced. That's how it goes. It is ready to fly from a racing drone perspective. I think I pretty much did get it. Anyone who's looking to get into the racing drone world knows you'll have to do some additional racing setups to get your drone up and ready and racing, like going on to Clean Flight and other racing software and computer. So this kit even has all your instructions, and if you misplace your instructions, not to worry, they're also online, and I got the links to all those below. Let's see how fast it goes. Ready? That is do I recommend this kit? I most certainly do. You got all this stuff, where do we begin? First thing you want to do, you want to charge the battery. So the kit comes with a LiPo balance charger. I've been using this for a while and been pleasantly impressed. You can choose your battery type, what kind of battery you want. And I'll hit enter, plug in the battery, and uh, plug this in. You can just hit enter and start. And it's going to check to make sure it's hit. I hit start again. And now I'm charging my battery. The kit also includes XT60 connector plugs and other different battery charge lead adapter cables. It also has really nice instructions. Next, you gotta set up your drone and connect it to the controller. So the Force One FPV 220 Raid to Fly Racing Kit also includes the Force One DYS 220 Racing Drone and a really nice drone carrying case. The ESCs are XS20A BL Helis. The transmitter is a 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel 2.25 uh, milliwatt by 200 milliwatt uh, signal for the transmitter. The DYS220 drone is built tough. It has a solid carbon fiber frame. The motors are brushless 2300 kV motors. The range is around 900 meters and the camera is a 5V 2.5 millimeter CCD camera. It's fixed at a 30 degree angle. The red cover protects the camera and other components and has a nice sleek aerodynamic look to it. I've crashed this drone hard multiple times and it still flies great. It almost feels like it's floating in, in the air. This racing kit literally has everything you would need from tools to connectors to cleansing, even additional props, bolts, everything you need. It's all there. There's nothing that was missed. The Force One FPV 220 Ready to Fly Racing Kit is the most complete I've ever seen. Let's see how fast it goes. Ready? That is crazy. And next, we're going to install the receiver into the drone. Simply unscrew the screws with the included screwdriver. Pry apart the box surrounding the receiver unit. You just kind of pry that apart with your fingernail there. Then you're going to very carefully, very gently, you're just going to push the inside out of the box itself. And next you plug into the S bus port of the receiver with the black line on the outside. Next you'll screw in your mushroom antenna and plug in the battery. Make sure your antenna is put on before you install the battery. 
and you'll notice on the receiver there's a red light. Next to the red light will be a little button. You're gonna press that button and the light will turn blue. The blue means it's ready to receive the S bus signal. Put it inside the cap. Make sure everything is inside nice and snug and tight and close it up. The Radiolink 18.9 transmitter is a really nice remote. It has a nice solid feel, bright, colorful LCD screen, and nine channels that are customizable. It has a three millisecond response time and supports SBUS, which is what this drone has in its components there. It has four VR switches, three gear switches, four two gear switches, and a reset trainer switch. You can use it to control other fixed wing, multi-rotor, or single rotor aircraft as well. I like that the drone is fully customizable in clean flight. In fact, before you can get in the air, you will have to do some setup. It is not a plug and play drone, so you will need to understand some of the settings and programs setting up this drone. I will have some additional videos on those and setting up and so on in the weeks ahead. You'll have to install the receiver, update it, and check your clean flight settings before you fly too. It is ready to fly in that it has everything you need to get started, but you will still have to put it together and program it and everything else. None of this setup is difficult, but you will need to follow the step-by-step -step directions. There's a lot of great uh, sites online with step-by-step -step instructions as well, and I'll have links to all those in the description area below. So you can see she's very stable. Very stable drone. She flies very well. Don't recommend flying her inside the house. You don't want to hurt anybody. I'm doing as much as I can. Something that I did was I numbered my blades one, two, three, and four, and I can quickly identify if it's upside down because the four will be backwards, for example. And uh, so if you look here on the drone, I did one B, two R, three R, four. Uh, 4B or B4 and the reason I did that was to identify the bolt so in this case the bolt here is black so 1 for the blade B for the black bolt 2 for the second blade and uh, R for a red bolt and so on 3R for the red for third blade and then 4 for the fourth blade and B for the black bolt this way I can very quickly if I'm in the field I gotta change out my blades quickly I don't have to sit there and study the blades and figure which one's which I can just put it right on very easily uh, basically the, um, the the left front blade will be here with the R and um, the rear blade will also have a R uh, and so where the front right will not have the R and the front and the rear left will not have the arm. So that's that's all you just need to know there. I do recommend also you get yourself a couple of extra batteries. The kit comes with the battery, which I like a lot, but I also went ahead and I bought two additional batteries. I also got a 4S battery. Now that your drone is connected to the controller and you're ready to fly, it's just a matter of going out to the field. Setting up the headset is as easy as plugging in the battery, hitting search, and connecting it to the FPV. The Force One 007 goggles are identical to the ESGene 007 FPV goggles, and they do a great job of showing the image. You can see here I've crashed the heck out of this thing. And she still flies great. So I absolutely love it. Um, it is a racing drone.
And if this is your first racing drone, uh, you're in for a trip. I'll say that, but the value with this is it has everything you need. So I really like this DYS220 drone. The FPV kit is fantastic because it really does have everything you need to get started. And that's what I was looking for. I wanted a racing drone kit that had everything where I didn't have to try to guess what to do. There's a lot of videos. I have the links to all the helpful videos on my playlist. I'll call it the Force One uh, DYS220 Ready to Fly Kit. I don't know what I'll call it, but I'm gonna call it the playlist. Look for that playlist. Playlist. I'll have it on, on my front page of my channel. So if you do get this kit, uh, in addition, I will also. I'm also going to have some additional videos that I'm producing with step by step what to do with regards to programming the drone and programming the controller. Total time takes about. Uh, just so the total time to get this up and flying is about two hours give or take a few minutes but it, the more experience you have the quicker you'll be but follow the videos that I have here you'll do great so if you think about buying this I think it's a tremendous value I absolutely love this drone and uh, I couldn't I can't say how uh, I can't say how excited I am thank you Force One for giving me the opportunity to share this video with everybody I absolutely love it guys I'm Tommy Jerome thanks for watching please like and subscribe I'll talk to you all next time You need a big field. This field that I'm at right now is nowhere near large enough to do this. We were close. I just had a crash. Um, I probably heard the propeller. Let's take a look at the propeller see what it did. Okay. Alright, so let's see. I did hurt the propellers earlier. You can see here, I bent it pretty good. But uh, that last hit didn't hurt the propeller too bad, looks like. Looks like I'm okay. So, lucked out on that one. All right.